Hi Capricorn, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Sorry that the readings are a little bit late being uploaded this month, I've been super duper busy during October. So yeah, we're going to have a look, you've got a love reading set next door if you want to sit next door if you want to check that out. We're going to have a look what's coming in for you guys in November 2017. Universe Spirit, show me Capricorn, what's coming in for Capricorn in November 2017? Show me Capricorn, what's coming in for Capricorn in November 2017? Show me what's coming in for Capricorn. Show me Capricorn. What's coming in for Capricorn in November? Capricorn summoning and rising signs. Capricorn summoning and rising signs in November 2017. Show me. Alright, so let's split the deck into three. One, two, three. Collect that back up like so. And let's have a look for you guys. I don't have my angel cards on me. And that tried to flip out before. That tried flipping itself out before and it came out again. Um, you guys, you might be uh, feeling very psychic in the uh in november 2017 capricorn high priestess is usually represent psychic people people who have great intuition <laughs> however the high priestess can also represent when you're waiting for something or you're waiting you know passively for someone so some of you guys the energies might be around waiting when you get a high priestess especially when it's an outcome of reading it says that you are um you know if somebody were to say to me you know will, I, will my house sale go through or will somebody buy my house this month and i were to get her in the outcome i'd probably say no i wouldn't say it was a mysterious person i'd say you'd probably have to wait a while because that's what high priestesses are they represent very small small changes in situations some say you hardly ever notice it it's very very passive energy so it might be some of you guys you've got strong intuition your energies are around strong intuition there might be a pisces person around you high priestess can represent pisces funny pisces got uh, got uh, two majors they've got high priestess and hangman in the majors actually funny enough <laughs> Or it might be that some of you guys are waiting for something here. You might also be dealing with somebody who's very aloof as well. High priestesses can show up when people are very aloof and they're very held back and they don't really speak and they're very distant. Your challenge is a queen of wands. Okay, so I think around you, um, Capricorn, you've got possibly top tier, fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person, doesn't have to be, but you've got a challenge in another individual. There's a Queen of Wands here, which is why the energy around you are the High Priestess. I think that you're aloof, you're aloof from someone. I think you're staying away from someone here, Pisces. Not Pisces, I'm calling you Pisces, sorry. Virgo, I think that it, not Virgo, Capricorn, oh my god. Sorry, guys, you know that I read, I was reading for Capricorn because I spoke your name into the cards as I started, sorry. I sound like my mum. My mum had 11 children and she used to call every single name before she get to got to the child she wanted to speak to. So it was like, Robert, Pauline, Pat, Shirley, Barlett, Fritzy. Oh, Carol, that's the one I want to speak to. Sorry, I can't do a proper Jamaican accent. It sounds terrible. Yeah, I am Jamaican, but I can't do it. I wasn't born there. Um, so yeah, your challenge is um, a queen of wands. I think you've got issues with a person here. All right, and that's why the energies are around you or the energies are around some form of aloofment, aloofness or distance between you and an individual here. Uh, and you look at this Queen of Wands and she's looking towards the High Priestess. So she's looking for an answer and this High Priestess is like, nope, 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 not giving it to you. Fuck off. I'm ignoring you. I think it might be the energies that you're ignoring someone or there seems to be, I think somebody wants something from you. She, this person's looking across. I think that you're the High Priestess. Capricorn. I think that you're staying aloof from someone. Somebody wants something from you and you're not giving it to them. The reason for that high priestess, well, there's an argument possibly going on here. Page of Swords. Page of Swords shows communication. Communication can be um, difficult. So when you get the Page of Swords, it can be about... There's a few ways you can look at the, 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 the Page of Swords card, really, to be honest with you, Capricorn. Often, the Page of Swords... Whenever I've read the Page of Swords, it's about somebody who's been withholding information. Okay, so you get the the Page of Swords coming out when somebody's not calling you or they're not communicating with you. All right, with this Page of Swords showing here. Okay, and there is truth in that sometimes. So if you've got someone that you like and they don't contact you, they do a Page of Swords. They withhold the information. They're not willing to contact you or communicate that just yet. So it might be the, in your foundation there's been a lack of communication with that Page of Swords. So you might have found out the truth because Page of Swords can talk about some, a truth teller, someone who's communicating the truth. We'll get clarity on that anyway. In the recent past, well, we've got the truth here, the Ace of Swords. So you found out the truth about a situation. You've got clarity on a situation in the recent past. But it's as a result of this Page of Swords energy. I think that somebody said something. 
I think there's been an argument here. Page of Swords can also show argumentative energy. I think there's been an argument, and I think in the recent past you found out the truth in terms of what somebody's felt about you or what they've been saying. And that's why your challenge is this Queen of Wands. Maybe she's she or he is the person that's been saying something here, and as a result of that, this is about keeping distance in the month of November 2017. The most likely outcome for this situation, Capricorn, will be the nine of wands well somebody's going to let down their guard it might be you nine of wands is where you let down your guard finally there's some form of recovery going on here but it could be because this follows the high priestess so the high priestess is around you guys there seems to be some form of harsh words going on here in your foundation page of swords as a result of that i'm seeing somebody being aloof high priestess and as a result of that, the most likely outcome is the Nine of Wands. I'm seeing a release of some form of tension and pressure here with that Nine of Wands in the reverse. Um, coming into your immediate future, we have the Seven of Swords. So you've got a lot of sword energy around. Seven of Swords represents a deception or somebody who's being very clever and using clever tactics and being quite strategical. Uh, you guys right now, well, you're the Eight of Wands. Hmm. The Eight of Wands. <laughs> You might be on the attack with this card. Eight of Wands shows attack. These are not just communication. You might be involved with lots of communication right now with this Eight of Wands. I think there's a lot of communication going on around you guys. Because I think that this is why the energies are around. Being very passive. Possibly being a little bit aloof. And possibly a little bit distancing yourself. I'm seeing distancing going on here. Because I feel that there has been some harsh words said, Page of Swords, and in which you found the truth out on a situation, Ace of Swords. I think your challenge Capricorn is a person, a Queen of Wands. She's in the upright. She, she should, well, to be honest with you, even if she's in the upright, she can be a bitch. She's nice, don't get me wrong. I've seen my twin sister is a Queen of Wands. She often shows up in my readings. If I've done a daily reading for myself, she'll often show up as a Queen of Wands. So she's someone who's fearless and kind and motivating, and she really invigorates people, and that's great. But sometimes she can be a bit overbearing as well, even in the upright right or she can be a bit selfish even in the upright yeah so your challenge is a person here and that's why you seem to be the energies are around distance i feel with this uh high priestess and i think as a result of that you seem to be um resolving some inner tension with the nine of wands energy capricorn you've got coming in what you'll experience is the ten of swords well okay so you've got the seven of swords in the immediate future somebody's being deceptive here and i feel that you guys some of you guys might be um experienced maybe the ultimate betrayal you've got that and i'm reading this as betrayal because we've got it off the back of that seven of swords energy uh hopes or fears well fears are about loss having to maybe give up a friendship or release something here that you don't want to release and what's the outcome the seven of cups i would say there's many choices you guys need to make or there's a lot of confusion here what i'm seeing so far is you guys are the eight of wands so you might be involved in lots of communication here it looks like a really kind of busy scene going on around you guys i think this is communication so you guys eight of wands are showing us communicating with maybe someone maybe you're sending a lot of messages maybe somebody's sending a lot of messages to you capricorn but as a result of that the focus is on keeping your distance here because i think that you've had some very and also the page of swords represents bad news or bad communication not just about delays or, or um withholding information it's also about bad communication i think that what's happened is is you've had some very bad communication coming in and i think that this communication that you've been having has given you the truth and clarity on a situation that your challenge is a queen of wands this individual here and as a result of that i'm seeing some of you guys keeping your distance in november from an individual because the most likely outcome is is that this is going to release the tension in the upright you'd be ready to fight you'd be like yeah we're on the oh fuck yeah i'm ready to go i'm ready to go. yeah we're, we're on the precipice of something here with this nine of wands in the reverse for me this is about releasing all of that tension so it's almost like you feel that by staying away from an individual capricorn you're going to release the tension in this situation seven of swords is coming in though i'm seeing a deception here so somebody's being underhanded here and i wouldn't be surprised if it was this queen of wands that you keep you look like you're trying to keep out of trouble here but somebody won't let you keep out of trouble because you've got somebody who's being deceptive coming in a seven of swords person it doesn't have to be an air sign but this is definitely a deceptive individual and i feel that what you'll experience is somebody's going to stab you in the back or they're going to betray you or they're going to try and betray you with that ten of swords i feel that your fears will be because of that betrayal having to lose this situation with the five of cups having to give up on this individual completely and the outcome is 
is the seven of coins you're either in a place of uh, confusion or there's many choices for you to make let's get some clarifiers on these areas i want to see what the situation is around the queen of wands being your challenge what's the situation around the queen of wands being the challenge for um capricorn in november 2017 right the wheel of fortune in the reverse so you've got a challenge as a person this queen of wands is your challenge but the situation is around the wheel of fortune in the reverse so the wheel of fortune speaks about delays and stagnancy and not the right timing so it's almost like you've got a person around you that's putting a challenge to you there's a challenge uh, to do with an individual and the situation is about the wheel of fortune not being able to do things no change i think somebody's halting you from doing something here because you've got this wheel of fortune in the reverse as showing up as the reason why this person's a challenge to you so i feel that this queen of wands is halting your progress with this wheel of fortune in the reverse um i think that let's get the other area that i thought was interesting let's have a look what this page of swords is about what's this page of swords about in the foundation area what's this page of swords about in the foundation area for capricorn the knight of cups okay so i think there's been some form of bad news in your foundation that came in with that page of swords and the situation was around you offering something or an offer an invitation here so i think this was something like a job offer here but i think you might have received some bad news on that the situation is about something that was offered there was an invitation here but i think that what you received was some form of bad news on an invitation or something that had been offered to you and in the recent past you've experienced the ace of swords and what's the situation with the ace of swords being experienced by capricorn in the recent past the knight of pentacles um i think in the recent past though you've had some form of a breakthrough with the ace of swords i'm reading not as not clarity as a breakthrough that you've had here even though you've had some bad news on something that was offered to you so it could have been a promotion a job a new uh place a new division in your workplace for example i think that something didn't happen that you received some bad news it might be that there's been delayed messages or something like that on there it could be the two things as a result of that though in the recent past you seem to have had a result you've got the ace of sword who represents results and this is to do with something that's been offered to you with that knight of pentacles all right so i'm seeing a proposition for something finally coming in you've got two knights here knights when they're holding out things like cups and pen there's there's two knights that represent things that are being offered to you and that's not a pentacles and not a cups because they're both offering something all right and the knight of pentacles and not knight of swords knight of wands usually show changes so they're not things that i feel are offered they're things that show changes coming in or you know they're indicators of situations coming in or going out these for me with these knights represent offers so i'm seeing a change coming in a result has come through in the recent past it, and it's to do with an, an offer a firm offer with this knight of pentacles energy however your challenge is a queen of wands and this queen of wands is halting you from taking this opportunity because you've got the wheel of fortune in the reverse and the challenge is a woman or a man top tier could be fire sign aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be but this could also be somebody who's in the driving seat they're they've got great authority great dominion so i feel that this person here this queen of wands here i think as you challenge this person's halting your progress i think there's something that you i think you've had some bad news in the recent past or delayed news with that page of swords and it's around an offer that was presented to you or an offer that you've wanted to make but i think that in the recent past you've had a breakthrough i think it's the same thing i think you've had a breakthrough you've been given the go ahead with this knight of pentacles energy but i think your challenge is somebody is stopping you from moving forward with this which is why the energies around you are the high priestess what's the situation with the energies around capricorn being the high priestess in november 2017 show me the three of cups situation is the three of cups okay so i think that you're waiting the situation the energies around you will be about waiting with that high priestess because the situation is about success partnership and agreement i think that you're waiting for some form of an agreement here to take place with that high priestess in the three of cups as a result of that the most likely outcome will be the nine of wands in the reverse what's the situation around the most likely outcome being this nine of wands in the reverse for capricorn in november the hanged man okay so the nine of wands in the reverse is the need to recover 
Okay, so you're not holding on or waiting here. It's almost like the hangman in a way. I'm seeing you releasing any type of tension. The most likely outcome is a release of tension because the situation is around the hangman in the reverse. There's nothing that you can do about it. Hangman in the reverse represents being completely in limbo. In the upright, this is about surrendering. In the reverse, this is about somebody who's not willing to surrender to anything. It's about an awkward position. So I feel the most likely outcome will be that you're just going to need to release the tension over something that you cannot release that you cannot change at this current time with that hanged man in the reverse as being the most likely outcome. The immediate future shows the Seven of Swords. What's the situation around the Seven of Swords in the immediate future for Capricorn in November? Show me. The Nine of Cups. Okay, so there's a deception going on. Um, and the situation is around somebody who's looking at being very smug. They're looking at being very... Um, they're looking at gaining some form of achievement here. They're looking at winning. They're looking at gaining some form of a, um, of a wish come true. This person's being very, very self-satisfied. So this person's looking to accumulate something. They're looking to have a wish come true. I think you've got a deceptive individual around you. And I think this person wants to gain something here with the Nine of Cups. I think there's a deception in terms of what somebody wants to gain here with this Nine of Cups energy showing up here, coming in. And as a result of that, they're looking at winning a situation through deceptive tactics I feel here coming in for Capricorn in the immediate future what you'd experience is this ten of swords energy Capricorn what's the situation around the ten of swords for what Capricorn will experience coming in okay so there's failure here to launch something here you're going to be stabbed in the back but ugh, I don't want to use that term you're going to be let down or somebody I think is going to you know, they're going to betray you. I'm seeing a betrayal coming in for Capricorn. So be careful and watch your back against this person. Because the situation is the Empress. This person doesn't want you to launch something here. The Empress in the reverse. It shows that when you can't launch a new pattern. You can't launch a new career. You can't launch a new venture. It shows failed ventures as well. Okay, because I feel that there's going to be... I think somebody's meddling in a situation here for Capricorn. And I feel that you, what you're going to experience is, is either where somebody's betraying you or you're going to be experiencing just complete and utter just like oh just giving up ten of swords can also be just give up on a situation you just it's just failed you can experience some form of failure in one way or another because the situation is about the emperor in the reverse there's not you can't launch something right now this emperor in the re empress in the reverse can also show somebody who's got anger issues or somebody who's not kind and they're not giving so it might be also that you're being stabbed in the back by an empress in the reverse and that might be this queen of wands dude here who wants to halt your progress with the wheel of fortune energy showing there in the reverse and i wouldn't be surprised if this emperor in the empress in the reverse this is you're being you know for some of you guys you're being betrayed by someone an empress in the reverse somebody who doesn't want to nurture your talents and they don't want to help you and they don't want to support you they're all about me 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 and what i want so i'm seeing for some of you guys uh capricorn you might be betrayed by an empress reversed and i wouldn't be surprised if it's this queen of wands here who's trying to halt your pr progress with that queen of wands wheel of fortune in the reverse i think there's somebody who's trying to halt your progress here in um november 2017 your fears will be the five of cups what's the situation around Capricorn's fears being the Five of Cups in November 2017. Show me. Okay, so your fears will be having to give up on whatever this thing is because the Four of Swords, it's been put on hold with the Four of Swords. All right, Four of Swords means to put something on hold. So I think that your fears might be losing out on whatever this thing is because it's been put on hold with the Four of Swords. The outcome shows the Seven of Cups. What's the situation around the outcome being the Seven of Cups for Capricorn in November 2017? The death in the reverse. Well, no, it's good because there are still choices. There are still, your doors are still open here, I feel, in the outcome because the death card in the reverse. The death of the door is definitely not still, you know, completely closed. Somebody's trying to sabotage you here. They don't want you to do anything. What I don't realise is that the overall outcome shows for me the Seven of Cups because of death in the reverse. Now, this death in the upright would mean complete and utter ending, okay, to these choices that you had here. But it's in the reverse, which often means the door is still open here. 
you can still return to something. The situation is, you know, the overall outcome is, yeah, there are still choices on the table here. There are still options available to you in this situation because the door isn't completely shut with that death card reverse. All right, the door is still open. You can still return to it with the death card in the reverse. Yeah, somebody might have won the day, but they won the war, but they haven't won the battle. No, is it the other way around? They might have won the battle, but they haven't won the war. Do you know what I mean? There's somebody here who's trying to thwart your progress. We're just going to get why you guys are the Eight of Wands. Oopsie daisy. Why is, uh, what's the situation around uh, Capricorn being the Eight of Wands in November 2017? three or four arms okay so um you guys let's go through the reading again capricorn um i'm seeing you guys as the eight of wands you're enthusiastic you're sending lots of messages you're being very proactive you're very very busy i feel and i feel the situation is is that your ships have come in on a situation here or you're waiting for some news to come to you so i'm seeing that you're being very proactive here with the eight of wands because i think with the three of wands you're waiting for some news or something to come to you back to you that you've actually put some form of an investment in However, in your foundation area, I'm seeing some bad news or delayed news that came in around some form of an offer here or invitation with the Knight of Cups energy. But as a result of that in the recent past, you've had a breakthrough or you've had some form of communication or breakthrough here in terms of somebody who's been offering you something here with this Knight of Pentacles. And I think it's a thing that you either was delayed or there was no information on before. However, your challenge is a Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. I think that there is a woman here who's trying to halt your progress with the Queen of with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. I'm just going to ask the Tarot, why is this person trying to halt? Why is this person trying to halt Capricorn's progress in one card? Well, it's because of the Two of Pentacles. Maybe they're finding it difficult to cope with what they're doing. Maybe they need your help on something here. All right, shows two of pentacles. This person's unstable, they're unbalanced. Maybe they're unbalanced and they're needing some form of you. Maybe they can't look. And maybe and this imbalance that this person's feeling, it might be that they're make, it's making them feel with this eight of swords, slightly worried, slightly restricted. It looks like they're dealing with something with that two of pentacles that they feel their hands are tied on. So uh, I don't know whether this person's being out and out bitchy or out and out nasty, but I think there's somebody here trying to, you know, this Queen of Wands showed up as your challenge, Capricorn, and it's because of the Wheel of Fortune. The situation is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This person doesn't want to, I think this person's trying to halt your progress, and it looks to me that this person's trying to halt your progress because they're going through a time of imbalance anyway, and their hands seem to be tied. It could be also that they're carrying many burdens. Two of Pentacles in the upright can mean that you're carrying too much, you're dealing with too much, and it looks like their hands are tied because they're dealing with too much it looks like they can't lose you on something this looks like a work thing for some of you guys as a result of that the energies around you you're going to need to wait you're going to need to be patient with that high priestess before you have some form of an agreement on whatever this offer is that's come in for you guys ace of swords and the knight of pentacles energy here you're going to have to wait before the agreement is formula is um is um made formal with that three of cups the most likely outcome will be well you're going to have to just you know let go a little bit because there's nothing you can do about it the hangman is in the reverse it represents when something is stuck really stuck so the nine of wands is about releasing tension and it's in the reverse because the situation is stuck you're just going to have to give it up to god release it because it's stuck there's nothing you can do about it at the moment so you're going to have to let it go and just wait it out the immediate future i'm seeing somebody who's being deceptive around you the seven of swords because what they want to do is they need to um feel that they've achieved something maybe with that nine of cups energy i think somebody's being deceptive in terms of trying to gain something from you maybe with that nine of cups energy showing there um you'll experience though as a result of that um i think you're going to be portrayed for some of you guys and this is by an empress in the reverse this is somebody who doesn't want to nurture your talents they don't want to nurture your skills and they don't really want to see you grow um and this can also be for me a failed project as well because the ten of swords is all about failure and the three of uh, the empress in the reverse is failure to launch a new creative desire you guys will be fearing this five of cups so having to give up on a dream perhaps with that five of cups energy because something's been put on hold four of swords or because somebody's bailed out on this offer towards you the outcome shows though I feel that there are still avenues available for you guys, Capricorn, because the door is not completely shut with the death card in the reverse. Whoever it is that's trying to sabotage you here, and I'm seeing somebody that's trying to sabotage you for their own gain, 
okay, for their own sense of achievement, self-satisfaction with that Seven of Swords and Nine of Cups. And they'll do it. They'll try and finish the you off. They'll try and finish the job off because this person's a self-centered little bastard, Empress in the reverse, okay? They're putting the kibosh on a project that they don't want you to start up, basically. But they don't know that the, you know, the door is still open with that Seven of Cups. There's still, you know, things are still open up for you you still got options there because the door isn't really closed you got death in the reverse it's a good reading don't worry about it things might not look that like they're going in your favor capricorn but they actually are uh universe what's the advice that you have for capricorn on this reading what's the advice that you have for capricorn on this reading for november 2017 show me Right, the Knight of Swords is the advice. You just need to carry on going for things. You need to be confident and believe in yourself with that Knight of Swords energy. Okay, however, be careful. Uh, the advice could be that if you go on the attack as well, Capricorn with that Knight of Swords, it's going to cause a whole load of problems. You've got the Five of Wands here, okay? So the Knight of Swords, you can see, is rushing out of that Five of Wands. So for me, this is saying what you need to do is make sure that you're heading in the other direction. Don't feed into whoever this Queen of Wands and the Empress in the reverse are. Don't feed into their energy run in the other direction if you can with that knight of swords running out of the five of wands it's telling you to leave behind problems or problematic people or competitive people running the other direction as much as you can capricorn okay don't get involved in drama so i'm seeing this is not getting involved in other people's drama okay don't get involved in other people's drama it's not worth it sit it out wait it out okay this person thinks they've put the kibosh on your dreams but they haven't put the kibosh on your dreams they're just some fucked up human being probably that's trying to make you accountable for their own problems but you know what there are doors that are still open to you capricorn okay the door is not completely shut at all death in the reverse as you can return to it okay it's not completely shut so don't worry about it all right love you loads guys you love readings up next door see you soon bye-bye mm -hmm.